Here we go. Hey, it's Joshua Suzanne here at Rags of Go Go. And once again, I have someone that came through the door that's doing something really, Hello. really, really interesting with his life. First of all, what is your name? Christopher Widener. Kif Christopher? Widener. Widener. Okay, yes. Christopher. Christopher, you walked in the door, I started talking with you, and you said to me, you just did what? I hitchhiked 48 states. You hitchhiked across 48 yes. states. Oh, you hitchhiked 48 states, I should yes. say. No, across 48 states. And you Up, hitched down, hiked. sideways, all around. <laughs> now, how long did it take you to do this? And Four and a half years off and no, on. Oh my God. And, um, I mean, I, we have a million and one questions, by the way, for Christopher. I just want to let you guys know that Christopher is going to be doing a, a documentary film on his and experience writing the, and writing a book so you can get a lot more information about his trip and why he did all of this but in a nutshell why did you do this i wanted to make a change in america i was tired of people not helping other people out like i come from a small town in virginia where people will pull over and help you if you need help you know what i mean okay. and i came out into the world one day and i left when i was 18 years old i left with the carnival and uh -huh. I seen how the world was through working with the carnival, you know what I mean? Okay. It actually taught you a lot about life being out there with the carnies and everything, you know, and I was like, I need to make a change. I was like, I can't stay in the way this world is right now. Like I really, if I can't make a big change, at least uh -huh. I can make a little bit of a change. You right know on, I mean? right on. And somebody told me, they was like, well, you can't do that. Man. You can't make a change in this world. I was like, yeah, I can. Yes, I've, I've already made a change. I've already like touched people's lives, you know what I mean? And just the people who picked me up, just me telling them my story is me. Now, this is the thing. Know? Like, for out there, people probably thinking, you hitchhiked 48 states, the people that picked you up. Now, yeah. let's talk a little bit about that. What? Yeah. Tell me Tell me the, one of the most joyous experiences you had and one of the, like, the most, like, oddest, put it that way. The most joyous experiences? Yeah. I got picked up by this, this old lady, this sweet old lady. She was, like, 78 years old. And uh, I was telling her I was raised with my grandma and everything, and... She was like, well, are you hungry? She's like, I have grandchildren too, but they're all in the military right now. You can come back to my house and I'll be your grandma for the day. And oh. da, 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 da. And <laughs> so, Sounds like a Stephen King book for some reason, but no, but everything turned out okay. Yeah, it was cool. fine because like we got back to her house and her, uh, her daughter came over and her daughter was like 35 or whatever. And um, she was really interested in me. So huh. We hooked up. Oh, we, wow. We hung out for like a week, so I stayed wow. with her for like a month after. Right on, Grandma. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Well, the, the kids daughter. are away in the military. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was the uh, oddest experience? Oh, wow. It's hard for me to talk about because it was just, you know, it was so in, okay. uncomfortable. But I fell asleep. I was in this truck. A truck driver picked me up, and I fell asleep. And next thing you know, I wake up and his hand is like right here. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, what are you doing, bro? Like, yeah. you know, this is the reason people get killed out here, you know? Yeah. And it's he's a violation. Like, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, you need to drop me off or you're really going to be sorry. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Regardless him. of like, you know, that's a violation. There's so, it. there's so many like fantastic stories though. I, I couldn't. I'd have to sit here for hours and talk to you. Well, you, you know, know what? I mean? People are going to be sitting for hours reading your book, yeah. put it that way, or sitting in, you know, and watching this on the documentary channels, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So where can we find out more about you? Do you have a website? Do I don't know? have nothing yet. Nothing. I'm just going to come out with it all when I'm done. Okay, cool. Yeah. So when you do, contact me, and I'll throw some tags on the uh, on the site here yeah, so people sure. know how to find you. Can you give me a link so I can... I can't. I will. Yeah. How's that? That's Rags great. A go -go. All right, you guys. Once again, interesting people. People making a change in the world. Every little change also becomes one big change. So always remember, just a little bit of change is all you need. All right, you guys. Obama's not the only one hoping for some change. <laughs> right on, you guys. We'll see you back at Rags. Ciao. And hit.